Good morning. I'm Julia, the locum minister at Gorgie Del Rey Stenhouse Church here in Edinburgh. Today is November 11th, 2021. It is Armistice Day, and we remember. We remember the cessation of hostilities on the Western Front of World War I, which took effect at 11 in the morning, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918. The armistice gave peace a chance. Over 100 years later, we remember the cost of war. We remember the damage of conflict and the hard work of rebuilding lives and societies after terrible destruction. As Christians, this is yet another opportunity to reflect on God's creation and our role in being part of God's justice in this world. Being in the midst of COP26 this year, we have been reflecting on eco-justice and caring for God's creation. Making peace with each other and the earth is vital for our own thriving on this planet. We depend on good soil to maintain the gift of life. And the soil of this earth has suffered greatly at human hands and suffered with us. In 1915, John McRae wrote the poem, In Flanders Fields. It is a reflection on how beautiful fields were turned into a battleground and became a graveyard for far too many. Many encountered a horrible death, but life prevailed and beauty returned once again in the red poppies that grew in Flanders Field and continue to grow there today. The poet leaves us with a warning that such peaceful scenes will not prevail if we don't learn from our past. The earth can only give so much. And so we remember, sometimes better than other times. At Gorgi Del Rai Stenhouse Church, just on the side of the building, there's a little patch, a plot of earth that has been lovingly tended into a little garden. For the centenary celebration of Armistice Day, Jim created a raised bed to look like a poppy garden in which little wooden crosses were planted with the help of children from the congregation. This little garden has changed over the seasons with potted plants replacing the weather-worn poppies and wooden crosses. This year, Bettina and the children will be refreshing the garden with pebbles and new poppies and adding a new wooden cross made by Andy. We will remember. This act of tending to the soil of GDS's little urban remembrance garden is remembering the soil of Flanders fields, which brought forth life even after being destroyed by violence and experiencing so much death. As a resurrection people, Christians have faith in God who promises that death will not have the final word. Let us pray. Holy God, you made the earth, the seas, and the skies. You created people and can touch our hearts and minds. You declare that the world was very good and can make it be so again. We are sorry for the damage that has been done. 
We come before you knowing that you are a God of mercy and miracles. Forgive us. Help us to remember that lasting peace is a peace that is a peace for all of your creation. May we remember those who have died directly and indirectly because of human conflict. May we find the path to lasting peace with each other and this earth that supports our lives. Amen. Let us end this time together by reflecting in silence as we enjoy the images of GDS's Remembrance Garden. We will remember. <laughs>